Hey everyone, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. Happy New Year. I thought I'd kick off the new year with sort of a retrospective of a game that I got into in 2019, and it is displayed before you here, Traveler. Uh, this is the Mongoose version of Traveler that was first released, I think, in 2016. And, uh, of course, like many of you in my audience, I'm sure many of you uh, follow uh, Seth Skorkowski, and I've really been interested in watching Seth's videos that he's done about Traveler. But I've been interested in Traveler for a very, very long time. And I think on this channel before, I've displayed some of the materials that I have for Traveler products, namely the uh, this is the original Traveler Deluxe Edition box set that came out, I believe, in the 1980s. And you can see my version, which I picked up at a game auction a couple of years ago in Denver, is pretty beat up. And it's not complete. I'm missing book one. I have book zero, book two, three. I'm, I'm missing books four and five. Um, but uh, I've been interested in Traveler for quite some time. And so I decided, given that I've had a little bit more uh, gaming money this year, that I would invest at least uh, partially in the Traveler RPG. I've played the Traveler RPG as recently as a couple of years ago. I've actually played this version of Traveler. Uh, with students at my game club who were into it at the time and we you know did what you do in Traveler we rolled up characters and mm -hmm. thankfully nobody died in character creation which is one of the things that Traveler is famous for and uh, so uh, I was using their materials at the time and at this point I decided it was time for me to uh, take a look at uh, some of the things that have come out for Traveler recently. I've also backed the recent Kickstarter for Traveler for um, the major campaign setting uh, that they've done. And I'm blanking right now off the top of my head what the name of that campaign setting is, but if you search for Traveler on Kickstarter, uh, you'll come up with that. And Mongoose has had a lot of success with uh, Kickstarters for Traveler and getting things going. And so you can see, first thing that I want to show you is the Traveler starter set. I ultimately decided to go with the starter set over the core rule book because it's more interesting for me to get uh, additional kit than it is to get a complete set of rules for the game. Um, it takes a lot of effort for me to run the Call of Cthulhu and RuneQuest games that I'm running presently, and I don't really have any plans at present to run any other games. Um, there's tons of games that I would love to run. Heck, I'd love to run Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Um, but I only have so much time, and uh, we're having a blast with our Call of Cthulhu and RuneQuest games right now. And so I may not end up running this version of Traveler for a while, but I ultimately decide to go with the starter set because of some of the additional kit that was in the box. And I like the way that things were sort of sp split out, even though I like hardcover books and really high quality books for role-playing products that doesn't mean that uh, I don't periodically like to have certain books split out and in doing research after watching uh, Seth's recent uh, Traveler videos I decided that the starter set was more uh, more interesting to me than the core book. And I think the starter set is about $20 more than what the core book is. And with it, you get a huge fold-out map of uh, one of the sectors in the Traveler universe. This is a front and back map, and I actually don't have enough space on this table to uh, open it up for you to see it in its entirety. But um, I'll just tell you off screen right now that um, this is the map for the Caladan sector. And there's plenty of space for you to fill in whatever you would want to as the game master. But I'll just show you sort of in the middle of the map here is where some of the active systems are in the Caladan sector. And so you get this really large fold-out poster map with the starter set. You get some completed character sheets so that you can dive right in if you'd like. And you may have noticed that... Uh, the 2d6 that comes with the set because Traveler is a 2d6 game uh, fell out there. You get character sheets on really high quality, um, really sturdy cardboard and complete with notable abilities and backgrounds and skills and a nice uh, full color character portrait. And so if you want to start playing right away, you can. Um, you have an ex-Navy lieutenant. You have an ex-Army corporal. You have a ex-merchant free trader crew member. You have an ex-scout survey. You have 
an ex-rogue drifter agent, and an ex-scholar citizen. And so that's some additional stuff that you get in the starter set. One thing that I really like about this box is it has this nice ribbon that allows you to lift the books up because this is a pretty deep starter set. I mean, it's thick. This is like, I would say, at least two inches uh, thick. Um, so it's divided into three books. A majority of this, but not all of it, I don't think, is in the core book. And I'm blanking right now on exactly what is missing in the core book, but um, or missing in this set from the core book. But um, I remembered that it wasn't something that I was going to miss a great deal. And so book one is characters in combat. It basically gives you the character creation rules and the combat rules. And the character creation rules for Traveler are pretty sizable because um, I like many games that background is a significant portion of the character creation process. RuneQuest, of course, comes to mind. Um, Traveler also character creation rules are extensively associated with uh, background and so that adds a little bit of uh, page count to the rules. Book two is spacecraft and worlds, and it's worth noting here that um, not only do you get uh, some information on aliens here and some basic starship construction rules, but the space combat rules are in here, including you know some basic ships for the game. Nice full color, enough to get your to wet your taste buds, information on trade. Okay, that's book two. And then book three, The Fall of Tanath, is a short series of scenarios that you can use uh, to get started with the game. And these are interlocked scenarios. I've been reading through them. They're pretty cool. Um, and so ultimately decided I decided that for me, the starter set was a far better value, even though it costs more than the core book. And so I decided to go with the starter set, and I do not regret it. So if you're on the fence, um, you know, just do your research, like many of us would do, as to which product is, you know, best for you. For me, I decided that it was the starter set that I was most interested in, and I have not been disappointed in it at all. Now, you may have noticed as I was shifting things around that there is another product underneath the starter set because after I read through the Starship creation rules in the starter set, I was yearning for more. Um, one of the things that I like most about Traveler as a role-playing system is, or in a lot of science fiction role-playing settings in general, is I love this idea of starship creation. Uh, and so I wanted to dive deeper into the starship creation rules for Traveler, and so I went ahead and picked up the High Guard supplement. Uh, High Guard used to just be a little booklet that came with Traveler, uh, and here for this new edition of Traveler, they've updated it to um, a much more uh, detailed rule set. And so inside the High Guard book, uh, not only do you get really cool art, of what is going on with with various size ships, but there's also a ship design, extensive ship design rules in the High Guard supplement. And so you can see here, there's a this design checklist. You have to pick from a variety of different hull configurations that you would use, and it basically walks you through installing fuel, fuel uh, installing a bridge, computers, sensors, weapons, installing all of the relevant systems, how specific weapon systems work, so you have single, double, triple turrets, um, you know, all the cool stuff that you would like for space combat. And for me, space combat has been one of the coolest aspects of science fiction. For me, I like sort of the naval aspect of it, relating it back, you know, to navies of Earth's past. Um, and so, you know, just tons of other spacecraft options. And you're going to notice that we're going to run out of rules here about uh, 60 or 70 pages in because a good chunk of this book is things like, well, we have some capital ship rules here, but then we have a huge section of the book that is basically just starship hull options and what the power power requirements are for all of them. And uh, just, you know, really gives a lot of interesting options for groups to use because basically Traveler is a role-playing game of... Uh, traveling with your ship from system to system, making a living and doing jobs. 
um, which is a great opportunity for role-playing possibilities because there's the pressure of the financial side of things, there's the exploratory nature of things. You know, somewhat reminds me a bit of uh, of like Star Trek in terms of you may be encountering and uh, having to deal with alien species that you never encountered before. Um, and so, yeah, I, I decided after I looked through the starter set that I really need the High Guard supplement as well if I really want to uh, to make the most of this. And so, I'm super excited to dive into uh, the Starship Creation rules. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to to play Traveler, but I'm also very much looking forward to the Kickstarter that I backed completing, and that um, I backed at a level where I'm going to be getting the uh, complete box set for that, and uh, I think that that should arrive sometime this year, assuming, you know, the delays, uh, which are common on Kickstarter, are not too long. And so I thought that I'd start the year off by just uh, diving into... Um, basically a new game that I invested in this year, uh, Traveler. And uh, I tend to like fringe role-playing games like this. Um, here in RPG Imaginings, you're going to see a lot of role-playing games that are out of the mainstream. Periodically, I'll do some D&D &D 5e stuff. Um, you will never see Pathfinder on this channel. Personal preference to each their own. Um, I definitely prefer more role-playing over crunch, but when I do need my crunch to be satisfied, I think that the Starship Creation Rules for Traveler will definitely do that. And so, um, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to have some more content coming at you on RPG Imaginings this year, and I hope your 2020 is off to a great start. Have a great day.